Hello guys, you are welcome to my channel. My name is Messi and today I'm going to show you how I made this delicious chicken coconut curry. This is perfect for Christmas holiday. You can have it as a sauce to eat rice on Christmas day. It's so simple to make and it's very very delicious so we are starting with our chicken the chicken is well washed so i'm going to spice it up now before marinating it i've added my ginger i've added my white pepper now i'm going to add my paprika the list of the ingredients and all the measurements are in the description box below so now I've, i'm going to add a little bit of cinnamon to it after that i'll put cumin this cumin plays a very important role in this recipe it gives it boosts that nice coconut flavor in the recipe so after that i'm adding my turmeric into the chicken then i have my garlic granules you can also use garlic paste then i'll put a pinch of black pepper into the chicken now I'm adding my salt so after the salt I'm going to massage all the spices to go around the chicken and get into the chicken as much as I can you can use any type of chicken you can use boneless chicken you can use chicken breast for this recipe but today I'm using this type of chicken so after mixing it i'm going to set it aside for like an hour for all the spices to get into the chicken so now i have my vegetable oil into my pot then i've added my bay leaf my rosemary then i'm going to put my onion into the hot oil after that i'll go ahead and give it a quick stir i'm going to gradually fry this onion for about eight minutes the reason is because i want all the flavors from onion from the bay leaf and from the rosemary to leak into the oil for the cooking then while that is frying i'll quickly chop my red pepper my red chili then i'll also Put it into the pot and continue with the frying so i'm going to fry it gradually until the onion is slightly brown at that point a lot of flavors from the onion the pepper the bay leaf the rosemary have saturated the oil because we'll be needing this for the chicken then I'll go ahead and add my chicken that have been sitting for about one hour. So I'll add all of them into the oil and I'll start cooking. If this is the first time you are coming to this channel, you are highly, highly welcome. Please consider to subscribe as we'll be uploading recipes like this every two, two days. And to my current subscribers, thank you very much for always watching our videos so after putting the whole chicken i'll just let it cook then i'll be i'll be stirring it at two or three minutes interval so that it doesn't get burnt so as i'm stirring it the part that have not properly cooked will be getting in contact with the hot part of the pot which is the bottom side also all the spices both from the oil and the ones on the body will be soaking into the chicken so i'll continue to cook it until the chicken color has changed almost cooked before i start adding other ingredients so right now i'm adding a little bit of time to it for taste also i'm adding two bouillon season this is chicken flavors flavored bouillon seasoning 
So I add all of them now, then I'll also continue to cook. I'm cooking this on a medium heat. Uh, I'm not using a lot of heat to cook it because I want it to cook slowly as it's cooking all the flavors, both the one forming as the, the chicken is frying. At this point now, it has given me the color I wanted. So I go ahead to add my chopped tomato into the chicken. And the good thing is you can use tomato paste or you can decide not to even add tomato and it will still give you that nice taste you're looking for. So I check for salt and I'm trying to adjust the salt so that it will, the salt will be will be at par with the taste I'm looking at. Then I'll go ahead to continue cooking. So as I'm cooking it, I want the tomato to cook considerably and well enough. At this point, you see both the, the juice from the tomato has leaked into the pot and it has really cooked. So I'll go ahead and open my coconut milk. You can go from scratch and blend your coconuts. I tried the milk for this recipe. But if you don't want to go through that process, you can go ahead with a canned coconut milk. So I'm add, I've added the coconut milk now. I will turn it. After turning it, I will also add some water. Then I'll let it to boil for about 10 minutes. And at this point, all the, the aroma everywhere is just smelling so nice. The aroma is just all over the place and this is the best curry you've ever tasted. I promise you. It's so delicious. You can use bashmati rice or any type of rice to enjoy this recipe, to enjoy this curry sauce. It's so, so delicious. And certainly I'm going to repeat this cooking for Christmas because this is so special. So right now I've added my coriander leaf and i've lowered the heat i'm just going to turn it and let it simmer for a few minutes like two three minutes if you don't have access to coriander i i recommend basil basil will also give it a nice taste but i believe the most important ingredient here is the cumin if you're trying to enhance that coconut flavor and here is what we have. Just look at this beautiful, yummy chicken coconut curry. Please, thank you very much for watching up to this point. If you like this recipe, give it a thumb up, comment, share with your friends and families. And I'll be, see, I'll be seeing you again in the next two, three days. Thank you.